If you're a crafter or you're looking for a gift for one, here are 15 tools I use again and again for my crafting projects. I use these tools to upcycle and transform trash, but most of them are just all around basic tools any crafter could use. I'm starting from least expensive to most expensive, so there are ideas for every budget. Some of these tools are generic, but for some of them I'm very brand loyal, and I'll put links for all of them in the description. Number one is embossing tools. You can find embossing tools easily online or at your favorite craft store, and even at Dollar Tree. That's where I bought mine. You might already know that I love to use my embossing tool on aluminum drink cans to make patterns and designs, but it also comes in handy as a burnishing tool for small areas. You can use embossing tools on thin metal sheets, as well as heavy paper and even some cardboard. It's a very versatile tool and the price makes it a great stocking stuffer. As I mentioned, I got mine at Dollar Tree, so you can pick one up for just over a dollar or spend a little more to purchase a set. Number two is a center punch. This handy tool is great to use on wood, metal, and even heavy plastic to mark, drill, and punch holes. I've found it particularly useful on metal to keep my drill bit from slipping out of place when I'm drilling holes. To use this tool, you just push straight down on the handle until the spring pops inside and makes a small indentation to mark your material. You can find a set of two punches for around $12, so you can stick one in a stocking and keep one for yourself. Number three is needle nose pliers. These pliers are a toolbox basic. They're handy for so many projects. They're great for holding small items and they can be used for cutting and shaping wire. If you do any jewelry work, they are a must have. And I recommend having two pairs for opening and closing jump rings. I've also used them for removing stuck glue caps and squeezing out tubes. And you can find these pliers in a variety of styles priced from five to $15. Number four is round tipped jewelry pliers. There are so many different types of jewelry pliers, but if you're just starting your collection or you only do occasional jewelry work, a pair of round barreled pliers is a good place to start. They're useful for coiling wire in jewelry making and wire sculpture, and you can find them priced between five and $15. Number five is a three by 18 inch clear ruler. Now you might be thinking that a ruler is just a little too basic for this list, and I'm sure that you already own a ruler, but this isn't just any ruler. Fisker makes these clear rulers in a variety of sizes, but my favorite is the three inch by 18 inch version. I like the longer length and the three inch width makes it easy to work with to mark lines and measurements, and the clear grid makes it easy to draw multiple parallel and perpendicular lines. The prices vary by size, but the 13 by 18 inch version should run you about $12. Number six is the Green Creativity Bead Roller. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know how much I love this bead roller. The price has gone up, but you can still currently pick one up for about $14. And this tool makes rolling beads fast, easy, and fun. And I've used it to make thousands of metal beads from aluminum drink cans, for jewelry and other fun projects. And of course, you can use it for paper too. One word of caution, it can be a little addictive, so beware. Number seven, Wiss Scissor Tin Snips. There are a lot of different styles and sizes when it comes to tin snips, but this small straight cut scissor shaped pair are the only ones that I use. Since they're shaped like scissors and, and they're smaller than most tin snips, they're familiar and easy to handle, and they're great for cutting metal sheets, thick plastic, and more. I've used them for many of my tin can projects, including these earring styles made from vegetable and soup cans. You can pick up a pair for around $15 for all of your heavy duty cutting needs. Number eight is nail pulling pliers, and as the name would suggest, this tool is great for pulling stubborn nails and screws and even staples from wood. But for me, its real superpower is its heavy duty cutting ability. It's great for cutting heavy galvanized wire, wood dowels, and plastic tubing. I recently made these garden markers with stakes made from wire hangers, and if you've ever tried to cut wire hanger, you know how strong it is. 
These nail pulling pliers make tough cutting jobs a breeze, and you can find them in the tools section of your favorite hardware store or online from $10 to $20. Number nine is the draft top. This is actually a kitchen gadget, and while draft top is the original, there are also knockoff versions as well. The draft top is basically a can opener for aluminum drink cans, so it turns soda or beer cans into more of a glass or a cup, which ironically for me defeats the purpose of putting it in a can, but as a crafting tool, it's amazing. With it, you can remove the tops of drink cans quickly and break down the aluminum beer and soda cans into easy to store, usable parts to make all sorts of fun craft projects. If you like crafting with aluminum, beer, and soda cans, you can pick one up for around $20. And if you'd like to learn more about how I break down drink cans for crafting, check the description box for my video tutorial. Number 10 is the Sure Bonder Cordless Glue Gun. Now you can pick up glue guns for under $5, but can you walk across the room with them? If you use hot glue on your crafting projects, I'm betting you'll appreciate this glue gun's cordless feature. It stays hot for around two minutes without replacing it in the base, features a dripless nozzle and an on-off switch, and you always have the option to plug the cord straight into the glue gun as well. The price is a little more expensive than the no-name glue guns, but they're still affordable at around $24. Number 11 is the Safe Cut Can Opener. This is another kitchen gadget, and it allows you to open a can and remove the top of the can cleanly with no sharp edges. And as an added bonus, you can also set the lid back in place. And if you craft with cans, then I probably don't need to tell you how cool that is. But there are a variety of styles and price ranges for safety can openers. I prefer this more expensive version by Kuhn Rikon because safe cut can openers can be a little difficult to figure out and this model is just a nice sturdy and easy one to use. You can find them for about $25 or test out a less expensive version for your crafting projects. Number 12 is a dapping and doming set. You can find dapping and doming sets in a variety of sizes, but this 36 piece set is a pretty standard one and provides a wide variety of size options for shaping metal, paper, and thin cardboard. If you enjoy making pieces of metal jewelry, this might be a tool you want to add to your collection. I've used mine to shape pieces of aluminum and steel from recycled cans, as well as shaping metal bottle caps. If you're interested, you should be able to find this set for about $35. Number 13 is the Pink Power Cordless Drill. I usually borrow the power tools from the hubby, but he bought me this Pink Power Drill when he got tired of sharing his cordless drill with me. I've never really been a pink person, but I do love this tool and the fact that it is so clearly mine. It comes with a charging station, a few drill bits, and a second battery, so you always have a charge. And you can pick one up on Amazon for about $40. Number 14 is a microwave kiln. And if you're interested in learning to fuse glass, the microwave kiln is a really easy and affordable way to get started. There are a number of brands available, priced from as little as $25 all the way up to $200, depending on which brand you choose and whether or not there are accessories included. My kiln is made by Fuseworks, and I've used it hundreds of times to make small jewelry pieces from recycled bottle glass. Fuseworks is one of the pricey brands, and I have heard that all microwave kilns are pretty much the same. So if you would like to be able to fuse glass in your microwave, one of these little kilns might just be what you're looking for. Number 15 is a Cricut cutting machine. If your budget allows it, the Cricut Maker is an all around versatile tool that will expand your creativity. I've barely scratched the surface in learning what this machine can do, but it has already been worth the investment for me. I love being able to cut intricate shapes from my empty soda cans for all my craft projects. But this machine can do so much more. It's a perfect complement to a wide variety of craft interests. If you've been thinking about buying one, this might be the time. You can find the machine for around $200, or you can spend a little more for bundles with extra tools and supplies. Check the description box for the links to all the products in this video and to sign up to receive the Upcycle Design Lab newsletter. 
Be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed today's video and tap the subscribe button to join my YouTube community. You can also learn more from the Upcycle Design Lab by clicking one of the links below.